all right so what is happening today youtube we are coming back and uh yeah today we're going to be playing sub terrors because i still wasn't able to finish the danger uh zombie deck because i literally built i was trying to build the deck um and i got to the point where i'm like oh wait i don't know what to put in the extra day <laughs> like i know generic cards and stuff but i don't know what specifically to put in the extra deck so at the end of this video um or if this duel goes fast at the end of the duel um, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you guys the list give you a little preview but also my guy Benito man you gotta let me know what to put in the extra deck you gotta please man I hope you see the video comment you know what matter of fact let's just hop straight into it right now um, I hope man Benito please man help me out because I do not know where is it what is it called there we go I do not know what else to add like I said I've added the plague I've added the connectors I've added the, the Dunderbird and Bigfoot I got the dangers and stuff like that, the Crusadia water, but I don't know the extra. I don't even know if we play Curious really in this bit. I don't think we should, but I know there's some pretty sure Vampire Sucker and probably some other cards. But like I said, I do not know this fine tune this deck. We have six cards left. You let me know, man, what to add and stuff like that. I'll be waiting on you, my man. So yeah, man, Benito, hit me up. Um, so yeah, yeah, just, just hit me up, man, or comment down below or whatever. Let me know what else to finish with this deck. And then so we can get this dual video out fast in a hurry and we can see what this deck's all about. All right, so back to regular scheduled programming. The reason why I was not able to upload yesterday is because I was in the hospital all day. I wasn't in the hospital, but somebody else was and we were playing the new, fuck it, we're gonna play. Oh wait, we, on, we only have like 11 extra decks. Like I said, I was gonna play, but like we, we only have 11 extra decks. So that was not supposed to be, we were supposed to be playing sub terrors. <laughs> We're supposed to be playing sub terrors, man. I told you guys I was gonna play this because I got shitted on by sub terrors. Now this list is uh, card for card, except for one C card is exactly the top 16 list. Um, I was gonna play, as you guys seen in the side deck, I wasn't gonna play like Waking and Dragon and stuff because my guy Benito, when he went to the Los Angeles Regional, he uh, he played that. So I was gonna just test it out too, as well as you can tell. But if you basically when I go through my extra deck, you guys are gonna pretty much see exactly what I'm referring to. Ooh, this is a good start. It's a good start. Um, so we're just gonna banish six. Uh, this was supposed to be with for the Waking the Dragon. Oh, we do not. Oh, game's over. Game's over. Game is over, folks. This is how you just. This is how you win the game. This is exactly how you win the game. Here, this is how you win the game. Just flip that up to attack position. Oh, we probably, probably should have put it in defense position. Um, we don't care if this gets ash though, right here. We really don't care. Um, because oh yeah, we don't, we don't, we 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 don't care about any permanence. That's you're just wasting cards now, because Hidden City already gave me the plus, and like I said, I'm I'm getting all the pluses off of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, none, like I said, that didn't matter because we already have Phoenix in our hand. Um, but yeah, uh, hope, yeah, all right. So yeah, as you can see, I just played a whole shitload of fucking, uh, uh, XYZ, I mean, synchros and links that are just busted. And, um, yeah, we were just going to try to resolve that. So like I said, it, it, this doesn't matter. Um, because like I said, we can just fiendish flip it and then, uh, oh, we're playing our own hidden city. I think that needs to be, be negated, right? Actually, did we just strike his summon? think so you know we'll strike his summon we'll make him feel good so maybe he's playing the exact same deck i'm playing um this is going to be the oh yeah he got a fiendish so that means he has a guru set he definitely has a guru set um or he has a guru right here and once again that's all fine all fine pot of duality sure he's literally playing the exact same deck he's definitely getting that strike he's definitely getting that strike but it's okay um did he get the strike i didn't see Oh, he's getting final battle. He thinks he's going to survive. He thinks he's about to survive here. He should not attack me. He shouldn't attack me. We're going to, if he attacks me, he's going to be in for it. Wait, am I holding A? All right, I'm holding A. I'm holding A. Um, he shouldn't attack me. He should not. He should just end his turn. Yeah, he, he's, he's doing a smart thing. So we're going to use this. Change this to face down. Probably gonna finish here. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what we wanted him to do. 
that's what we wanted him to do so what we can do is um also after that set the card. i wonder how this works because if i book it right now right if i book it right now i wonder if this will still get set you know what i'm gonna I'm I'm go for it i'm gonna go for it because if i book it right now i wonder if it's still gonna get set fuck oh wait what he, I, he didn't negate it okay well that's cool um he probably has a strike does he have a strike if he doesn't have a strike, this game is over. If he doesn't have a strike, this game is over. Because I'm getting Uma Strix. Actually, I'm going to get Guru. Uh, no, 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 I'm getting Uma Strix off of the Guru. Um, yeah, we're going to get Uma Strix. Actually, we can get Subterra Cave Clash. And this adds a Subterra Monster. Yeah, I could just target a Subterra card and add it back. So, yeah, that's exactly why I played that card. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just do that. Exactly why I played this card because my god was this card super good um and then we're just activating another hidden city we're just activating another hidden city no oh, yeah he surrendered he knew what was happening he knew what was happening we don't have any side deck so we would not be able to get a game two with him but yeah man uh he knew what well. he knew what was going on he knew what was going on i wonder why fiendish still negated because it didn't book it didn't book his monster so i don't know why it's still negated but that's another thing for another day and we have we already have the combo we already have the combo we don't really care about this indulgence going off if it goes off it's just a plus it's, it's just not it's not fair for my opponent right here this and people really said that this deck was not going to be as good as it was man um my god this shit is just ridiculous man guru is just even even this late guru is still freaking busted and that's crazy that's what's really crazy about it is because Guru came. I don't know when Guru was first announced, but the fact that this deck immediately got, you know, to some top spots is very, very crazy. We have goals in match, so that should probably take care of this 60 card deck here. Um, yeah, we're going to allow him to do all that because, like I said, it doesn't really matter. He activated the incantations. We're going to just flip goals in match. He can't resolve that. He's probably playing Necros or something like that. I'm pretty sure he's not playing the light deck. And even if he is, like I said, we have just... Oh, okay. No, Chalice Line. All right. Are they lights? Incantations are not lights, right? Some of them are light. Um, which one is light? Oh, I think the four star is light. That's the good one. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, my man. And I think we might... We might have to... Uh, we might have to negate that one. Um, ooh, Sarverus. Okay. What are you playing? Yeah, see, that's one that is light. Um, yeah, we, we don't care about that. What could you be playing that I'm scared of? Oh, come on, dog. So that just ritual summons anything, but that's a dark, so... Not able to exceed, so that's cool. Hopefully he's not actually playing what's in here. Yeah, alright, so there's the dark. Um, we're just gonna flip that young Gozen. He's not going to be able to resolve that. Let's see, if he's still able to ritual summon, I mean, we still we have three negations sitting in our hand. What's going on here? That works. Okay. Okay. I okay. I'm learning new things all all today. Wow, he does have a what's a name? Oh wait, never mind. I know what he's doing because he's able to what's the name? So this is cool. He's able to ritual summon that light out of his hand. I mean, since he has a target for a light, he's able to still ritual summon. Um, I don't know what this card does on the field though. You can just okay. Then you put when a bonus was special summon a monster. Oh, this doesn't do shit. Okay. Yeah. So what what, what I'm saying is, um, pretty much. He's able to still ritual summon. Now, if he had something like Trish or something of the case like that, he was still able to summon it because he could tribute all three. And, you know, this is uh, what we can do is what does this even do? I can technically. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to do this and go prevent the activation of effects. And then we're going to chain Guru to book this and put Guru down itself. That goes to defense. Um, we lose our solemn judgment, but like I said, we have another indulgence. My God, he's indulging so much. 
better than Pot of uh, Desires. It's so much better than Pot of Desires because you're not banishing, you know, great resources such as cards in your deck. Now, he's probably going to hit me with the young what's the name, too. He's probably, oh, he doesn't hit me. I thought he was going to hit me with like Regeki or something like that. Oh my God, there's a terraforming. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Indulgence is literally a pot of greed. I mean, extravagance is literally a pot of greed. Um, do we want to, you know what? He's probably going to quit here because I think this is too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much happening. Um, add a sub terra monster. We're going to add Umastrix. So, oh, all right. Now, I think I know um, why Umastrix doesn't work. Um, is because I, I think I need to do it on my turn. So, can okay, normal summon this one, right? Then I can use the effect of Guru to book that. And then we can special summon. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, man, I was having a very big problem with this. Um, like, what does this do? Oh, no, he can book itself. So very big problem with this. When I was uh, trying to get a duel with this, um, this shit just would not fucking, it would not work. Like, it would not let me do it because I was using final battle. So I don't know if that was the case, but... Yeah, it was it was just would not let me do it. Um, and then here we're gonna just gonna add a sub terra clash. Um, oh wait, oh we can actually go into that one card. Um, no, we already flipped it, so we can just do this. Change the face up. Um, we're gonna do this. Uh, all right, what does this do? Wait, what? How the fuck can we go into this? Oh, that's our extra deck. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, how can we go into this? All right, what does this do? Um, during your main phase, you can send a flip monster from your deck to the graveyard, um, and then gain, um, all right. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to this, right? Then go over there. Uh, no, wait. And then I can, what, what does this say? This card. Okay. So we're going to activate subter clave clash. We know this is that what's the name. So that means what we can do here is go tack over this. We can do 3,600 damage, right? We can do 3,600. Wait, why the fuck did it lose its boost? Am I mistaken? Why the fuck did it just randomly lose? Oh, for each set monster. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I got cheated. Um, so we're going to add ourselves Umastrix back, right? And then during main phase two, we can use the effect of this. Um, we can just send our last guru to special summon um, this and face down position. And so, yeah. So then now we can final battle flip this and then this will get a uh, guru back to my hand. So now we just have immediate um, every, uh, what's the name? All right, so I got cheated. I, this doesn't gain attack. Okay, all right, that works. Um, all right, what are you gonna do, sir? Okay, so we, we have multiple Veilers, so I don't, I don't think this really matters. And we also have Umastrix. Um, when if what you can target, okay, so this is just mandatory. Oh no, it's not mandatory, but it's not it. I don't know if this misses timing because it doesn't say when you can. Um, he is seriously trying to add ritual spells. I wonder what he's playing, but uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, Umastrix. For some reason, doesn't work on my opponent's turn. I don't know if that's. I don't, it doesn't say nothing about only on your turn. So when I was testing this, this shit just would not. It would not work on my like on my opponent's turn. It just wouldn't work. I know it misses timing, but I'm just saying it just. Excuse me. It just doesn't work on my opponent's turn. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can actually do. This is. I think this game is just over. I don't think he really did. This card is just so good. Um, the fact that you can just um, add any, so yeah, bro, go ahead, do all your ritual shit. You're gonna need summon lights anyways. Um, so that means you're probably gonna add another, maybe summon another three star, and then this one adds a ritual monster from your graveyard, right? But you don't have any in your graveyard, so um, yeah. If he had another ritual in his hand that was light, he was able to actually ritual summon because he has a legitimate target. Then he can switch it up. Well, at least that's how it was before. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, this is is is, is a, this is the um, a control deck. Um, it, it's very very slow. Um, 
these some of the cards I was I, I was initially playing because I seen uh, the opponent that beat the person who beat me two o skunked me. And he had these in his deck, um, but yeah, man, uh, yeah, this is sub terrors. This is uh, something you have to worry about because you guys didn't want all together, so you guys got this. So I mean. <laughs> Oh, this is upsetting, but it's all right, man. We're going to get through it, folks. And, you know, Nobleman and Crossout may have to get me. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have. And also, Benito, my mans, please comment down below. Let me know what I need to do to fix that deck so I can play it tomorrow. Or uh, like tomorrow would be Friday. So Friday, Saturday, whenever you get back to me, we'll be able to play it. Besides that, thank you guys for watching. Um, and also if you guys want to help the channel out links are in the description down below Also, you guys can click and add to help support the channel appreciate all the support I will be back in a couple hours for another duel